Hi, this is Richard, and welcome to another episode of Making Something from Nothing. Uh, today we're going to be doing something a little bit different, uh, not the most exciting thing in the world. We're going to be making round cylinder ingots for the lathe. And I've got plenty of ingots, you know, for the uh, sand casting, but they're all this shape here. You know, which is fine for casting, but uh, yesterday I needed to, uh, let me see if you guys can see those. Yesterday I needed to machine down this from one of these, and I had a ton of waste. So we're going to be solving that. We're going to cast some uh, round cylinders, so stick around. Do a little bit of metal melting. Well, it's going to be pretty straightforward. I'm just going to go ahead and start dumping some sand in the drag here. Not worried about flipping the thing over or anything like that. I just need to get some sand in there. Maybe a little bit more so the sand doesn't just fall out of this thing by being too thin. Alright, that's good. And these are going to be my patterns. Got a bunch of different sizes here. I can get that one in. So we'll put, start putting some sand in. I want to have a bunch of different sizes available. And I want to do all these all in one shot rather than keep firing up the furnace to keep making round ingots. So I'll go ahead and get this packed up and finished up and bring everybody back when we're ready to melt some aluminum here. Alright well let me go ahead and pull these out and see if this is actually a viable plan or not. Okay, well, I think it's all ready to go. Let's go melt some metal. Well, the first crucible that I used was starting to develop problems, and I didn't think it was going to make it through another melt. That was the original one I used or made in the video called The Poor Man's Crucible, if you guys want to check that out. And it lasted about 12 or 13 melts going from memory. Uh, so it worked really good for a long time. But this crucible is smaller, and I decided rather than partially fill one of these larger molds, uh, I just hung on to the uh, additional metal. So I found an old crucible that I felt was on its last leg and I had retired it, but I brought it out of retirement to see if it had one more melt in it. So I took a chance and went ahead and poured the liquid aluminum into it and I'm going to do one more big crucible. So I've got the third crucible totally full with metal now. Uh, this thing is like right up to the top. It's probably seven or eight pounds of metal, probably. So I figure this has got to be enough to fill up these two cavities, right? So I fill up the first one. And I think this one's even bigger. And uh, sure enough, I didn't even have enough metal to fill that one, so... 
I must have about 15, 17 pounds of metal into these uh, ingots. Okay, let's see what we got here. So the heat from these massive ingots has dried out the sand. And when I pick it up, I'm in for a surprise here. We got sand dropping out of the bottom is what we got here. Good thing I swept earlier. Well, having the ability to cast up my own stock for turning on the lathe is certainly going to come in handy uh, because buying aluminum uh, billets like this, uh, it's very expensive. So I'm glad I have the ability to do it and it's going to come in handy around the shop. nice looking billets though. Well we had one casualty when the bottom dropped out of the uh, flask there. <laughs> 